One of the things I really like to do with my clients is when they come to me with an issue, I would say, based on what we learned so far and the tool that I've given you, how would you approach this? So I did this last with one of my clients who was experiencing something that was very difficult for him. So he took literally two minutes. After two minutes, he came back. He actually just took a walk around the room, practiced one of the tools that we had that I taught him. And he was laughing. He was laughing and he was so light and he looked like he was actually high. So I said, what happened? He's like, I just did what you taught me to do. And he's like, I felt like three weeks of stress just came off of me. It's like, wow, I guess that's all I needed. So then he asked me, how, like, why doesn't this happen on my own? Why don't I do this on my own? So I gave him two answers. The first answer is that um, the better more we practice the tools that we have for connecting with ourselves, for regulating ourselves, for dealing with different situations, the more we practice the tools when things are going well, the more they're available for us when we have difficult times. Very often we fall into this trap of when things are going well, we ignore our development. And then when things are difficult, we're like, oh, I need to work on something. If we would work on ourselves when things are going well, then when things are difficult, we'd be able to punch through it much faster because we would have already practiced the tools and we would be more prepared. The second thing I told him is that sometimes you just need that presence of someone else who's mastered something.